Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I want to talk in this video and explain uh, from a US perspective wallet versus pure remittance. I did a video earlier on that talked about the ACH problem in the US. You should see, be able to see it up here on top on the left. And we discuss how, you know, the charge back period is 90 days for ACH up to 120 days for the credit card, etc. And why this poses a problem with respect to chargebacks and so forth. One of the ways I feel, and this is just my feeling, and we've, we've been doing limited field tests in this thing, and we have seen a success, is for people, for MTOs to say not that, you know, you can, we'll debit your account, and then once the balance is cleared, we'll then forward the balance after two days or three days into India or Pakistan or Philippines or Nigeria or wherever, but rather say, hey, listen, you have an, a wallet, an online wallet. You can fund the wallet and then whatever balance you have inside, we will use to transport it. So a customer could say, hey, well, you know, TransferWise send, does it immediately. Yeah, but TransferWise is doing a remittance service. We're not doing a remittance service. That just happens to be one of the service we provide. What we are really doing is providing you with an online balance, a wallet. So you as a customer can put funds into the wallet and that balance will be reflected after two days or three days, whatever the time frame is. And then once they have the wallet, let's say your wallet balance is $700 and now you want to send $400 to Nepal. Well, the $400 can immediately be deduct deducted from your wallet and put into the disbursement account of the MTO that is actually working with you to send money to Nepal. So I feel that there's a lot of customer potential in educating them that, you know, we are moving away from the pure remittance model. It also helps you save on the chargebacks and fraudulent um, activities a little bit, not too much though, but move more towards the wallet function with the wallet functionality where you can actually have the wallet, where you can fund the wallet, you can wait for it. Once the wallet has been funded, there are limits on the wallet and so forth, and you can work with that. So this is something that I feel MTOs should look at. This is, I feel, something that MTOs can work with. A wallet functionality and the wallet mindset and the mind and the thinking with customers changes into a very broad offering than just pure person-to-person -person remittances. You can do value addition with that. I've done a video over here which shows you what value addition and P2P payments would look like. You can do many, many other things and work with that. I hope I was able to explain that concept. Tell me if you agree or disagree in the comments below. If you have a business inquiry, there's a contact form in the description below as well as a business WhatsApp. Till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.